Warzone. I did like this game when it first came out, like 50p again, just absolute bargain. Um, I liked this game when it first came out. I used to play it a lot with my brother. Um, and and oh, I didn't even open this one since I got it. I mean, obviously I've bought purchased this again, but um, you can create your wrestler, I think, uh, which is quite good. I used to spend a lot of time creating my own wrestler and that. Uh, brilliant game, brilliant. Uh, Brilliant uh, fighting game, wrestling game. Smackdown 2, just as good as Warzone. Again, 50p, purchased it for. Um, not as I don't think I don't remember this as well as uh, Warzone, but I remember Warzone being a lot better. But yeah, Smackdown 2, it's not a bad game either. If you're into wrestling. Uh, I really need a new case for this because uh, Street Fighter EX plus Alpha, yeah. Um, I do love this game. Uh, it's more like 3D. I mean, Street Fighter in 3D. I mean, it's it's proper good. I do love this game a lot. You get a lot of characters in it to fight as. So uh, yeah, I do recommend this for any Street Fighter fan. I mean, uh, I was really lucky to get this, especially at a bargain price, two pound, and it and it's right what it says on the label. It was a bargain. Uh, Tekken 2 and Soul Blade. I did have both of these games in their own cases when I originally had the PlayStation. Yeah, Tekken 2 and Soul Blade. Soul Blade, I love. I mean, I think it's uh, much more better than Soul Calibur. Uh, to however many they've done, Soul Blade is like a unique game, I reckon. For an original game that came out on PlayStation, Soul Blade, I love it. Um, you have a story mode on it as well, which uh, you have to do certain tasks to fight characters. Uh, Tekken 2, um, just as good as Tekken 2 and 3, I mean Tekken 1 and 3, but um, I do, I still, I know some people might say how, but I do prefer the original Tekken to Tekken 2 and 3, so uh, yeah, but I think to have them both in a set, yeah, that's not too bad, I would prefer the originals though, the black labels, Tekken 3, I remember getting this when I was a lot younger. I mean, obviously, I have it uh, another version of it without the case, but this one is a platinum one, so not as special, but still taken free. Brilliant game. I, the, my favourite character on this is Gone, the little dinosaur. I mean, he's hard as hell to play as, but um, I, do, I do like this game a lot. Battle Arena to Shinden, I think, yeah. Um, it's an old, old game. Uh, quite quite good I reckon for its, for the time it was made it's a manual in there, original disc black label, so yeah it's all good again you can see I bought it for £2 can't get these stupid stickers off though I hate the shop for putting them on, um, when you rip them off they just leave shit on the case, I mean I just want to get some new cases and as soon as I do this will be one of them that I put in a brand new case because uh, you know, I think it's really hard to find at the moment especially uh, in store Fighting Force, the original. I did love this game. I mean, I think uh, again, this is like uh, for 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 when it was out. This is a unique game of its time. Uh, I think that is the the cover there. Yeah, and the disc. I think I didn't pay a lot for this. Yeah, two pounds. So yeah, that and again, yeah, I agree with the label was a bargain. Two pounds for Fighting Force. Uh, brilliant condition. Um, I'd say it's uh, like a Streets of Rage game, but more uh, more involved, more free roam to do to go where you want. You can pick up shit to throw at people. You can shoot people, picking up guns and stuff. Uh, yeah, I do like that game a lot. Duke Nukem: A Time to Kill. Um, I do like the Duke Nukem games. Nothing beats. Duke Nukem 3D, even the newest one on my PS3, I have Duke Nukem. Um, nothing beats the original 3D version, but this one, Duke Nukem Time to Kill, I do remember spending a lot of time on this when I was younger. Yeah, I can see I spent three, I must have bought three for five pounds, but yeah, that's uh, again, this is a brilliant game. I do like it, it's a part, uh, uh, a good game in the Duke Nukem series. Uh, Duke Nukem Land of the Babes, I've not even opened this yet, I've not played it yet, I really should get onto it. I think I bought this the same time as I bought Time to Kill, yeah, the 3 for 5. But um, I haven't played this one yet, I only picked it up because it's Duke Nukem, and I thought it would go really well with my series of games, of Duke Nukem games. So yeah, um, if I don't get around to playing this soon, 
and you have it, please tell me what it's like. It might influence me to uh, get started on it sooner than I thought. Doom, not the original uh, Black Label. It's like one of these value series, yeah, but Doom is a brilliant game. I think on this it has a level editor. Maybe not. Maybe that what I'm seeing there is just the maps or whatever, yeah. But um, obviously I want to get this on PC because I know you can make your own levels on PC. Um, I do have this on Xbox Live, but Doom, I thought for the PlayStation, you can't, don't really see it. <clears throat> you don't really see it a lot. So uh, I had to get this, and again, I think it was cheap, yeah, three for five. I think I got this and the two Duke Nukem ones that I said about before at the same time. Okay, Rainbow Six. Uh, it's a very tactical game. You um, obviously have other men. You can equip your men with different equipment. Uh, you're like a SWAT team, and you can go in doing different missions. Uh, it's mainly about terrorism, I think, from what I last remember playing of it. I did have this years ago, and I bought it again because it was cheap enough, and it was a brilliant game for its time. It still is. I think I'd still enjoy playing this game, and I should make a video on it, really. I've known loads of people... I've obviously seen gameplay video, but I'll just like to make my own just for my own personal fun. That's how much I think this game is great. Um, very tactful, as I say. Uh, lots of strategies involved. Um, the the amount of equipment and the thing that you can control your men and what they do and uh, give, send them around a different ha uh, at the beginning of a mission. You can position your men and you can just use different tactics to uh, get through the levels. I think it's great. So yeah, Rainbow Six. It's it's a great game. I love that. Uh, the world is not enough. Um, I'm not. I mean, the only other James Bond game I liked was uh, Golden Eye on the N64, but this one in particular is really good. I remember my dad got me this um, for my birthday one year, and this was like a few, quite a few years ago. But um, to, be, to be honest with you, this is a great James Bond uh, game. Um, so much I got it twice. Now I'm only joking. I was an idiot because I didn't. Uh, because I've got so, so many PS1 games, I actually thought I sold this, which I did. I bought it again, and then I went into a game shop and bought it because I didn't think I had it. So I did have it. So I might I might sell the platinum version and keep the original, the black label one. But um, yeah, it's a brilliant game. Uh, I would recommend this for any James Bond fan. Um, Alien Trilogy. I did have the black label one. It was one of the, uh, one of the five that I got with the, the PlayStation when I originally got it. Um, Alien Trilogy. There is a certain password that you can unlock everything, and people remember it as I got pink acid boots on. But you replace the ones, uh, the eyes with ones, and the a with eights or something but i actually didn't realize this when i first got it i was so into the game i actually remember the password for what it is it's uh 1gotp1nk8c1dbootson um and how i remember that i do not know because i don't even remember people's mobile numbers but that's how much i played the game that i actually remembered it without remembering without knowing that you just remember it i got pink attributes on <laughs> but yeah um, you got like I, I think it is a good game. The strafed controls uh, when you're moving around ain't great compared to what games are now. But for its time, I loved this to bits. I mean, it still is a great game. Um, the lost secret areas, which I still don't even know, and I didn't even know after a while of playing it. But you can like throw grenades at walls and blow the walls up, and then go into secret corridors and stuff. But uh, yeah, that was a fantastic game. I love that. I'm so glad I got it again. I want to get the black label though. Uh, clear and sale for Die Hard Trilogy. Brilliant, brilliant game. Um, I do prefer right the different Die Hards, a uh, different style of game. Like the Die Hard original is like uh, say sort of like a Metal Gear Solid view. You have the bird's eye view of uh, of the main character, and you go around, um, uh, and it's just like a shooter. Like, like uh, but it's brilliant. I mean, the second one, Die Hard. Uh, Die Harder is um, a light gun game, uh, and you obviously it's like a lot like Time Crisis, and uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance is uh, 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 like you drive around a lot and you have to do driving missions. So it's like a so so it's like a shooting game like with a, like a light gun game and then a driving game. So that is a really good collection in itself. I do like the Die Hard trilogy. I remember. The demo uh, was had a uh, Die Hard with Avenge, uh, no Die Harder, with the light gun, and even the demo was great. Where you go in the airport and that, and you just start shooting like a lot like Time Crisis. 
so yeah that's a brilliant brilliant collection because just because all three of the games three different the, the three different diehards uh are a different style of gameplay so yeah i think that is just brilliant everybody's golf i picked this up really cheap i think it was like 99p yeah 99p i uh did have an imported version of uh everybody's golf 2 but I haven't actually played this, I don't think, since I got it, but I love Everybody's Golf. I think it's just like a nice little uh, anime-based sort of like golf game. I mean, I just think it's brilliant. I think it's really cute in a way. So uh, I'm not a fan of golf, but I love the f I love the golf games. I think they're great fun. Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX in. Uh, I think they brought this out not long after a couple of the Tony Hawk's Pro skateboarding games came out. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this. I mean, I think it's good for what it is. Uh, again, though, I've got it twice because I didn't think I had it. Saw it cheap and picked it up again. But the case is fucked. I do need to get some more cases and recase a lot of these games. A much more better. Dave Muir's Freestyle BMX. I think this game is fantastic. I even like it more than the second one. I actually love this game to bits. It's so much more realistic. It has the same feel of it as like, uh, lo not like the Matt Hoffman Pro BMX in or Tony Hawk skateboarding. This is more like, uh, compared to the skateboarding games, I'd say this is more like a Thrasher Skate and Destroy style game. Um, just the way the graphics are and the gameplay. I think this game, I I I think this is my most favourite BMXing game to this date. Still, I love this game to bits. I actually adore it uh, Tony Hawk skateboarding I bought this cheap I think from a supermarket I mean yeah it's six quid and it was brand new obviously from a supermarket I mean it was the original Tony Hawk so I picked it up I don't I only this is the only Tony Hawk's game now I have I think um, I remember when the demo came out I was absolutely obsessed I was like wow this is like so realistic but compared to like the skate games and stuff this is nothing now but I just I'd, I'd, I'll never get rid of this just because it's the original and it was brilliant uh, when it came out Thrasher presents Skate and Destroy the game I talked about a minute a second ago um, I do love this this is like a lot like Dave Mirror where I say it's a lot more realistic the way the characters move and stuff for the PS1 it, you can't get much better it's got a brilliant soundtrack as well so I love that game. I think my mother bought me this uh, quite a few years ago, and I, I've not bought. Uh, yeah, I did buy it again, so I got rid of it. Saw it again, and just had to pick it up because it was that good. I hate selling games now. I don't even sell games now. Uh, Street Skater. It's different. I mean, the the gameplay, uh, it's very simple. I mean, the longer you hold the X button down and let go of it, you do different tricks on different ramps and rails and stuff. I did love this game. I think this came out not long after or not long before the Tony Hawk's game. But to be honest with you, I did like this a lot more. I think the skateboards on it uh, are brilliant and the soundtrack to it is brilliant. But um, I just think, I just, I just, I just, there's something about this game. I just loved it. And, uh, Next, Street Skater 2. I didn't even know there was Street Skater 2 until I got this. It's a shame it's a classics version. But, um, yeah, the manual in there. Was just, oh, I just wish it was the original, the Black Label, not a classics version. But um, just as good as uh, Street Skater, but it's so much better than Street Skater 1 in a way. Just because... Um, I don't know, it's just, a, it's, it's just a lot less simple. You can do more with, with the moves and stuff. And yeah, I say I picked that up, 199. Couldn't believe it when I saw it. You can create your own levels and stuff, so that's really nice to, to have. Um, MTV Pure Ride, snowboarding game. I think from what I remember playing of this, this was brilliant. Um, I do like the snowboarding games, but there wasn't a lot that I... Uh, lights apart from I think it was Call Borders 3 or Call Borders 4 a while ago but this uh, this is pretty good I do like this for a snowboarding game 